I'm Sam Green from AudioPropeller.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a bit about microphones and their uh, polar patterns or pickup patterns. And that describes how directional a microphone is. And uh, directionality means it's going to pick up what you point it at. So if I point it at you, it's going to pick up from the front if it's really directional. If it's not, it's still going to pick up from all around. So. Um, this directionality is described in uh, with with the with the polar pattern of the microphone, or you could call it the pickup pattern too, and it's it's normally a diagram that you can see. Um, so let's take a look at say an Omni. This is an Omni microphone, and I'm just going to pop it in here, and we'll take a look at what the pickup pattern for a uh, an Omni might look like. It's going to be just uh, these. So let's let's talk about the pull, the pickup pattern diagrams what how what they represent. So there's there's a, a normally a sphere that you could think of being around this microphone. And the sphere if we have a total circle around like we do on the Omni uh, inside of the sphere, then that means that from all directions there's no reduction in the sound uh, pickup. So from the back it's going to pick up just as much for, as it does from the front. So it, if it didn't pick up as much from the back, we, we'd see a different picture, like some of these, this next, this next polar pattern we're gonna take a look at. So let me pull this Omni out, and Omni means omnidirectional, it picks up from all directions in theory. Uh, we're gonna see that, that that isn't exactly the case, it still gets a little more uh, from the front, at least on this microphone because of how it's built. So I'm gonna take that one out, and let's, um, let's uh, take a quick listen to it. Um, and see what this thing sounds like. So I have uh, a cable here and we're gonna switch over to the sound on this microphone once I get it hooked up. So we should be able to hear that now. And I'm gonna talk right in the front of it so we can see how that sounds. And then I'm gonna rotate it while I talk and we can see that I'm still, I'm still getting a good amount of signal from the, from the side here. And now I'm at 90 degrees and I can still hear it. And then I'll keep going and see what I can hear from totally behind this microphone. Now, a good amount of the sound, you can hear it's changed. Uh, it is actually just picking up from what's bouncing around the room. I'm not in a totally dead room. I have some absorption up, so it's not totally dead. But it, it's definitely not picking up the same amount as when I turn it all the way towards my face. So this is an omnidirectional mic, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't behave as a, a theoretically omnidirectional mic would, where it picks up just as much as uh, from the front as it does from the back. So um, that's our Omni there, and the and that's not a super common type of microphone, and, and it but it does give you a good representation of what's uh, kind of a natural sound. It's not gonna it's not gonna make it. Uh, it's how you might hear things uh, just normally. Uh, in your in your head so you're gonna be able to hear all the room reflections and this thing will too it's not gonna hear just what's right at the front it's gonna pick up everything bouncing around the sides the back everything so next we're going to take a little uh, a look at this at this um, cardioid that I have let me get these hooked up correctly we've got this little uh, condenser microphone it's a road um, road microphone RODE that's one manufacturer and and pop that in there and we'll take a look at how this uh, polar pattern for uh, cardioid is going to look. And now cardioid, uh, you can hear uh, cardiac, cardiologist, that means heart in Latin, right? I think. Am I right? Yeah. Um, so uh, the shape of this thing looks a little bit like a heart. Not maybe like a heart that you would have drawn in school, but uh, maybe a little bit more like a real heart. So it's going to pick up from the front. It's going to be somewhat directional. And then as we get to the sides, it's going to reduce a little bit. And then from the rear, there's going to be uh, mostly can uh, cancellation, I guess you could call it, where you're not going to hear anything. So that's a cardioid. And that's probably the most common type of microphone that you're going to find. A lot of the hand held mics are going to be cardioid or uh, super cardioid. So let's uh, pop this thing on and see how it sounds, how it behaves to uh, being rotated. Um, so now we should be able to hear this microphone. And uh, one term is that when you're on axis with the microphone, the axis is, is, you can think of it being straight on with this microphone. So I'm on axis, and then you can call this off axis. So if you ever hear that, um, you know, it has good off, off axis performance. So whenever a singer's kind of off to the side, it won't change the, uh, the EQ of the mic, or uh, it'll still pick it up pretty strongly. So let's do the same thing I did before with the, 
with the other microphone right from the front I can I'm getting a really good signal and then I'm going to rotate it back and I'm still picking up a, a decent amount here at about 45 degrees and now I'm gonna go to 90 and the signal really I think is dropped off there so keep going and from behind I'm getting a really a uh, small amount of signal in there and I'm not I'm not picking up too much of those room reflections like we were with the Omni so coming back to the front uh, 90 degrees and head on so uh, there's a it, it's definitely directional it's it gets a lot less at, at 90 degrees there so that's our cardioid um, let's pop that thing off and uh, we're gonna take a look at next actually I can leave that on because that's our only condenser mic I'm gonna take a look at our uh, Super cardioid. This is an old microphone, um, Electro Voice uh, RE16. Uh, this first one was a um, what is it? 635A. This is what a lot of radio uh, TV people would use back in the the 70s and 80s uh, as an Omni, so they could get a little bit of the atmosphere of what's going on, so it doesn't just pick up their voice uh, for electronic news gathering. So when you see ENG, that's what that means, electronic news gathering. But this uh, microphone really rugged and. Um, I, I just got it and I'm uh, still going to try it out on a few a few different sources, probably kick and guitar, it'll sound interesting. But anyway, back to this thing, back to the super uh, cardioid. Um, this thing is going to pick up uh, really well from the front. It's going to be more directional uh, than the regular cardioid. And I'm going to rotate this so we can see what happens um, coming from the side. And you can see I'm, I'm dropping off quite a bit now already. So from the sides, there's a, a good amount of rejection. Now, um, from the there's there's supposedly a, a lobe in the back. So when I am right on the back of this microphone in the rear, I'm not going to I'm not going to hear. Uh, well, I'm going to hear a little bit more than the cardioid. But actually, in practice, I don't I don't find that. So, uh, well, let's try that. Right now, I'm at the the rear, and now I'm kind of at the side. So. I don't, I don't see the difference there as much, but let's, I, I didn't take a look at the pattern, so let's take a quick look at this pattern, see how it looks. Um, the super cardioid is going to pick up really, really directionally from the front, and then we're going to have a drop off on the side, so you're going to have a nice cancellation from the sides, not total cancellation, but it'll give you good isolation from other sound sources, and then there may be another lobe coming out the two sides, or there may, may be just a lobe in the back. And the, a lobe is just another a little a round part that, that is going to um, pick up a little bit of sound from the rear. So um, that's a super cardioid, uh, just kind of a, a variation on the cardioid, heart-shaped uh, pickup pattern that, you, that you'll probably see. So, so this is good for, for vocalists for uh, getting feedback, higher, higher sound levels without feedback on stage. And, um, and even in the studio, if you're doing scratch vocals and you use one of these microphones, they may not be scratch vocals in the end because they'll have a, a, you'll be able to keep the drums out of them, keep the guitar out, and you may be able to use that signal. And maybe even with a cardioid too, so don't think that you have to have a super cardioid uh, for your scratch vocals. Now this last microphone is a, a ribbon microphone by, uh, it's the Fathead from Cascade, and it's a bi-directional pattern. So let's uh, take a look at that pattern and pop it in here and I'm going to rotate the, the clip so you can see how it would normally be used and there we go so this microphone picks up from the front and from the back uh, equally so there's no uh, there, and, and then nothing from the sides it's really it's remarkable how little it picks up from the sides so you'd be able to place somebody in front of the microphone somebody in back have them sing at the same time you can have a maybe a mandolin in the front, an acoustic in the back, and then you can arrange players around this one mic to, uh, if they're a louder instrument, move them off to the side and it'll, it'll, it'll fade them out a bit. So that's, that's kind of a neat technique. On their website they actually have a video of this microphone in act action and they do it in a, it seems like a warehouse setting and it sounds just awesome um, with uh, like four or five people around it, a singer, sounds really great. So let's uh, listen to how this microphone sounds plug her in and ribbons don't require uh, phantom power so the only one out of all these that needed the phantom power was that uh, cardioid uh, condenser microphone so 
okay I've got my ribbon here um, and you can see uh, well I can hear now I'll probably adjust it later it's a little quieter than these other uh, dynamic microphones because it, it requires a little more uh, gain on the preamp so I've got this thing straight ahead um, I can start rotating it and I'm at about uh, 45 degrees now and then 90 degrees uh, so I should not be hearing much at all and then I keep going around to the back and now I can hear the rear from the rear of the microphone so let me go back again I'm at the side coming back and at the front so you can see there's a pretty good amount of uh, rejections there hopefully I didn't just pop on it these these ribbon microphones you have to be careful to uh, keep uh, any kind of wind and then you also shouldn't store them down like this I kind of afraid of even setting this down this way uh, but I think it'll be pretty tough and we'll just put it down like that so that's an overview of these microphones um, so you could use uh, say an Omni people use Omnis for room microphones you might stick it out uh, uh, just in the middle of the room for some drums or something you could use this as a guitar mic and it would pick up a little more of the room reflections instead of just picking up the guitar amp you could uh, they're often used for for speakers and on podiums so the speaker can move around a little bit and uh, you don't get the drop off in volume that you'd get with a directional microphone so uh, and then these other cardioids uh, they're more directional so they'll reject things from the side really get even better rejection from the back so if you're in a PA uh, situation live sound you, you'll want to make sure that the back of the mic is always pointed at the speakers and some people set up their PAs and they'll put the the, the PA speakers up behind them and that's you know that's that's pointing the this, that's gonna have the sound from the speaker being picked up in the microphone so you're gonna get uh, possible feedback and you're not be able gonna be able to get your microphone up as loud as you might like it so uh, that's something to keep in mind and even if you're not a sound engineer and you're, you're but you're running your own sound you need to think about these kind of things so maybe move the, the speakers up farther and then see if you can get a monitor out and put it behind your microphone because that's the null spot they call it the null where there's no pickup in the rear so um, I think that's a, a, a really all the polar patterns that you may run into there's a few other there's shotgun microphones and some more uh, specialized type things but these are common ones that you'll find that you'll that you'll see in uh, any catalogs uh, online and uh, I, I recommend really going with uh, a couple cardioids and then uh, then trying out the more exotic uh, Omni and uh, bi-directional uh, shapes so uh, Hopefully this has given you a good overview of, uh, of how, to, how to use these, what they look like, maybe even how to interpret that polar pattern because those things are kind of strange to look at. Um, good luck finding some mics. Uh, this is Sam Green from Audio Propeller. Hope you enjoyed the video.